Hey, yo, uh, Marcus Conti reporting. I want to report on the uh, the latest Bernie Sanders Bernie Sanders report. Okay, Trump, you can Trump people go away. <laughs> hey, ha ha, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Bernie Sanders is kicking ass. Is kicking ass, and I'm being unapologetic about Bernie Sanders kicking ass. Damn, fucking Bernie Sanders. Fuck you, Trump supporters. Fuck you. <laughs> Bernie Sanders is on fire. You want to see so? Watch this shit. I fucking love this shit. I fucking... Watch this. Bernie Sanders. That's that's Bernie Sanders sending out emails every ten minutes. If you're on his list, but this is the this is the exciting one. <laughs> Cowardly Donald Trump. So weird to watch crazy Bernie on Fox News. Not surprising Brett Baer and his, quote, audience was smiley and nice. Quote, very strange. Now we have Donna Brazil. Ah, he's running scared. Oh, poor little rich boy. Poor little rich Donald Trump liar. Con man liar. Running scared. That's where I feel. That's where I'm coming from right now, man, because I'm... I'm a little sick of it, man. The guy's talking about, uh, you know, windmills giving you cancer. And his father's from Germany. And, uh, you know, and, and I don't know Assange. You know Julian Assange? I don't know Assange. Venezuela? No, no, no. It's a humanitarian crisis. Oh, no, no. Syria? Oh, no, no. We, uh, we're going to keep the troops in there. We're going to get the troops out. No, no, no. We're going to put the troops back in. We don't know. What the fuck he's doing? He doesn't know what he's doing. Right? The health care. We're going to get some health care for everybody. All right. Donald Trump's, Donald Trump is, uh, is, is, uh, is, off the table. Off the table. All right? So, fuck you, Q, Q. Fuck you, Q, Q, Q. Fuck you. Fuck you, Q. Okay? Stupid. It's stupid. It's a trap. You're hurting the country. Give it up. Look at the policies. Uh, so, this Trump. Uh, oh, I want to thank my. Um, I want to thank. Uh, I forgot his name. What's your name, boss? Uh, Tony. Tony Yim, uh, Ye Yemen. I'm sorry, I butchered your name. Tony Yemen is, uh, he sent me this picture, man. I sent him some stickers. And he hooked me up, man. He gave me a photograph with the apple. Ah, what's the apple mean? I don't know what the apple means. <laughs> but uh, some stickers. If you want stickers, become a Patreon. Kindly become a Patreon. Uh, you can do that. and uh, Or just go to eBay and buy some stickers. So, so I'm going to explain this in a second. But... Uh, I want to tell you this. <laughs> All right, my brother, my brother from a from a former mother. So these are the two enemies right here. This is this is David Brock. I'm going to read a New York Times article, right? but I want you to know who the people are. This is David Brock. David Brock is the. Um, is the correct record scumbag, uh, basically a hired hack. He's not a scumbag. He's a, he's a money grabber, right? And he, uh, you know, I work for Hillary. Fuck you, Bernie. You will never win. Bernie Sanders, you will never win. Ah, Hillary. I am Hillary. <laughs> what happened? <to? laughs> I'll do whatever you say. I'll do anything. Hillary, just don't hit me. Don't hit me, Hillary. <laughs> So, Hillary Clinton, what on earth, right? Now, Bernie Sanders went to her rescue, right? I know, fucking, you, I know, I heard it all. Leave it alone, right? But I know, Bernie Sanders sucked her dick. I know, Bernie Sanders sucked Hillary Clinton's dick. He, he bowed his knee because he thought it was the right thing to do. He, he believed Russia invaded the election. I know, I heard it all. Right? So, fuck you. Fuck you. Okay, fuck you. Right? But the point is that I'm actually worried i'm actually going to bat for you and i'm not so concerned with myself right i'm putting self aside when i talk about bernie sanders and this has got to stop because these guys are dangerous so bernie sanders sends out this uh, email right this uh yeah email and uh stop sanders democrats are uh, agonizing over his momentum quote it's a new york times article so the new york times puts out a hit piece and bernie sends it out to his people now let's look at the uh let's look at it so here is the hit piece. You can't call it anything else. Right? So, and I'm going to tell you who, I want you to know who Correct a Record is, 
And we'll find out who, we know who Hillary Clinton is, but we'll find out who David Brock and Correct the Record are because they're very dangerous people. And I, I want to show you why, right? So, so here's the article. Democrats are likely to go into the convention next summer without having uh, settled on a presidential nominee, said uh, Ms. Doherty, who ran her party's convention in 2008 and 2016. The last two times the nomination was contested. <clears throat> and Senator Bernie Sanders of Vermont is well positioned to be one of the latest uh, candidate, last candidates standing. Look, if there is a, if there is a contested convention... Right where they go to Milwaukee and then the super delegates pick the candidate out of the hat, it's it's a bust. You, you're electing Donald Trump. Understand that, corporate Democrats. You're 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 electing Donald Trump by doing that. Okay, so they'd rather lose to Trump than win with Sanders. We know that. Why? Because Bernie Sanders represents the change. Look, he's rocking the market right now just by going on Fox and talking about. Medicare for all, the, the uh, medical medical stocks, the pharmaceutical stocks are going to plunge, right? Because they're going out of business. It's going to put them out of business. It's wonderful. It's a wonderful thing. I think I, um, so so just more about what the attack is, right? The object, the object of the Democrats is to flood the field with a lot of candidates, right? They'll put in a uh, shit sandwich, Joe Biden, Mr. 1%. They'll put in, uh, you know, whoever else. Joe, Joe Biden is the one that these guys are backing. They've already announced it. They already said uh, David Brock says he's going to back Joe Biden with uh, correct the record, right? Uh, so, so the fundraiser on the coast of the cloakrooms of Washington, mainstream Democrats are increasingly worried that their effort to defeat Donald Trump in 2020 could be complicated by Mr. Sanders in a political scenario all too reminiscent of Mr. Trump himself seizing the Republican uh, nomination. So they're, they're not really worried if he wins. They're not really worried if he loses. They're worried more if he wins, right? That's the concern, if he wins, right? So how some uh, Democrats are beginning to ask, uh, do they, how do they hold off a 70-something-year-old candidate from outside the party structure, who is, who is immune to intimida intimidation and incentive and wields support from an unwavering base. Ah, running scared, running scared. But stopping Mr. Sanders or at least preventing a contentious convention can prove difficult for, the, for Democrats. It's impossible, right? If, if, Sanders is, if Sanders is not the nominee... It's Bernie or bust, right? It's that scenario all over again. The people are not going to go fuck you, blow. Not going to happen, right? But they think it is going to happen, right? right? So he has enormous fundraising clout, largest field of can, but the largest field of candidates in history. Uh, if he wins a sub substantial number of primaries and caucuses and comes in second in others, uh, thanks to his deeply loyal base of voters, the bottom line is that that the scenario is he if he doesn't get to the more than 50% of the pledge delegates the super delegates are going to come in 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 late July after the republican nominee nomination and steal the election from Bernie Sanders that's what's going to happen that's the play right now right so um, the prospect is spooking establishment uh Establishment-aligned Democrats, some of whom are worried that his nomination could lure a third-party centrist into the field. That's bullshit right there, because they're backing a centrist. Joe Biden, 1%. Joe shit sandwich, Joe Biden, he, he works for the 1%, and he gets 1% of the people's vote. Mr. Joe, 1%, right? And they're worried that from out of left field, you're going to get who? Bloomberg? Michael fucking Bloomberg is going to come in from out of nowhere. It's not going to happen either, right? So, or the or the Mr. Starbucks guy. This is, it's a joke, right? This is a this is this is designed right here to to get Bernie Sanders out of the box. Right? That's what it's all about, right? So, there's a growing realization that Sanders could end up winning um, uh, winning this thing. Yeah, you bet your ass it is. There's one comment by uh, Claire McCaskill uh, here. This is this says, says it all, right? This says how blind the Democrats are. Uh, as former Senator Claire McCaskill of uh, Missouri puts it, one thing we have to, to have now that we didn't have in two th 2016 
is the uniting force of Trump. There will be tremendous pressure on Bernie and his followers to fall in line because of what Trump represents. Fuck you, McCaskill, you're wrong. You're fucking wrong. You're listening to the donors. That's a pitch to the donors. You're pitching the donors, oh, no, no, we have a lot of power. We have a lot of power now. We'll get our, we'll get those Bernie bros to fall in line. Fuck you, it ain't going to happen. No, but that's a sales pitch. See, Claire McCaskill's a failed candidate anyway, so she doesn't matter. But she's going to try to get the, the, um, the corporatist, the, 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 the so look, look, if you, if you own a bank or you're in a pharmaceutical, you own a pharmaceutical company or you run a pharmaceutical company, you're, you're fucked right now because you don't have the people supporting you. You have nothing. All you have is the paid off politicians and who are you going to pay off to get what you want? So enter, enter, um, um, Brock, right? That's how it works, right? So you have this guy, enter David Brock, right? So again, billionaires, corporate billionaires, they want a piece of the action. They want to get Bernie, they want to stop Bernie Sanders. The military industrial complex, pharmaceutical industrial complex, all the military, uh, all the, the insurance companies, they want him out of there, right? Because why? He represents real change. They'd rather lose with Trump Trump, if they if Trump wins, oh, it's business as usual. The market's going up, everything's good, right? If we if we win with Bernie, right, we're gonna we're not gonna back the Democratic Party and win with Bernie, who's gonna who's gonna cut us out of the equation and give all the profits to the people, right? It, so you see what I'm saying? So enter David Brock. Who is David Brock? David Brock is a operative who works for the Democratic Party to uh, to to take the money from the donors and smear the shit out of anybody who they don't pick. So their pick is Joe Biden. They say it in the, in the New York Times article, right? So, so David Brock is, um, was basically the, the fuel behind Hillary Clinton. But listen to what it is. Correct the record. That's, that's David Brock. It was a hybrid PAC, super PAC, founded by David Brock. Uh, it supported Hillary Clinton's 2016 presidential campaign. The PAC aimed to find and confront social media users who posted unflattering messages about Clinton and paid anonymous tipsters for unflattering scoops about Bernie Sanders and Donald Trump, including audio and video recordings. Right? Again, r- listen. The PAC aimed to find and confront social media users. You! That's you! They target you as the social media user. That was the whole shit about... Um, that was the whole shit in 2016, right? So what happened? Back it up, 2016. You're on Facebook. You're playing on Facebook. You're, you're communicating with your people, right? You're communicating with your people. And, and you're, you're, you're talking about Bernie Sanders. And they don't like that. So anybody who... And, and Hillary Clinton has, has 10 followers. And Bernie Sanders has 25 million followers. Bernie Sanders is filling up stadiums with real people. Hillary Clinton can't, can't get 100 paid union workers to stand in front of her at, at, in, a, in a gymnasium, right? So all of these things are going on, right? And, and Hillary Clinton is failing miserably, right? So, 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 so what they did was they attacked the Bernie supporters, right? Anybody who said anything positive about Bernie was a Bernie bro, he's a racist, he's a sexist, he's a misogynist, he's every name in the book. People that were cheering on Bernie Sanders and downing Hillary Clinton were attacked vig- vigorously by fake people. Who the hell knows who they are? Speculation was that they were Russians. They were actually, not the Russians that you're thinking of, but they were actually like, when you go on, um, like, what's that, that Fiverr? You could buy supporters, right? And like uh, Kajakistan, Kajikistan, Uzbekistan, even like like um, Bangladesh, right? You can buy all of these third world voices, right? And they'll come on five dollars, ten dollars, and they'll stay there and copy and paste cr- shit sandwiches and and attack you. That's what's happening now, right? You're starting to see every time I say I say Trump is going to lose and Bernie's going to win, in comes the in comes the onslaught of of trolls, probably we probably have a hundred sock accounts on this on this uh, board alone, and on Facebook. That's my theory. So, but but anyway, so so that's who 
that's who CrowdStrike is. That's who the Democratic Party is now aligning with to smear the public, to smear the, the public favorite, the favorite in the race, Bernie Sanders, right? That's what it, that's what's going on right now. So Bernie Sanders, the, the number one thing Bernie Sanders has to stop doing, and then I'll start wearing his button again. Uh, I got my two th- 2016 button. <laughs> and uh, how about this one right here? So it's my fucking favorite button right here. Got this little button right here. Hey, Bernie. Hi, Bernie. Hi, Bernie. <laughs> so what Bernie Sanders has to do is, first of all, he has to stop calling Joe Biden shit sandwich his friend. Stop going. You, you hit, a, hit a grand slam. Grand slam at Fox. You're sinking the market. Look at this. 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 Look, the market is getting crushed on Medicare for all uh, concerns. $28 billion. The, the, the um, hospitals and insurance stocks lost $28 billion in value just on Tuesday alone. I'm telling you, this is a winner. This is a winner. You're going to crush them. Crush them. Right? That's the way you win. Right? If nobody's going to put on a yellow vest, this is how you do it. You crush them with policy. <laughs> I'm excited, man. I think he can win. I think he can overcome the margin of cheating. Let's talk about cheating. So the object is to is to defuse the 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 um, the field and have twenty candidates all pulling some votes, some pledge delegates away from Sanders, so that when Sanders enters the convention or finishes off most of the candidates, he's going to go into the into the convention with not enough pledge delegates to to secure the nomination. Then they go to a second ba- a second ballot where the super delegates, the, the the fucking insiders, each one of them has 10,000 10, votes each. It's ridiculous, right? And then they vote and they overturn the election and give it to the shit sandwich. That's what's gonna happen. Now, is they is is that is that uh, I mean, does that mean you don't support Bernie Sanders in in, in his talk? Right now, hell no, no. It's it's the exact time to do it to to shake it up. Fucking Trump is running terrified. Trump even sees it. Fucking Trump is looking out at Fox. He's he's sitting in the in the in the White House, hey, right, with his Twitter, and he's watching Fox. And there's Bernie Sanders t- talking about getting cheers about health care, cheers for for, for single payer for uh, Medicare for all, right? Bern- and Trump's like, hmm. Like, because you know why, Trump? Because you turn your fucking back on them. What about what about Oliver Stone, Roger Stone, and and Corsi, and Assange, the guys that that were or, or or Alex Jones, your buddy, fucking Alex Jones, you threw him in the threw him under the bus. They were you know, Facebook and Google and Twitter threw him into the they threw him into the gutter, and you let it happen. Right? See, that's where the tables are turning because Donald Trump is a traitor. Donald Trump surrounds himself with, with corporate, you know, with with uh, swamp creatures. Mike Pompeo, CIA, uh, Steve Steve Mnuchin, the Goldman Sachs Goldman Sachs plant. He makes the Secretary of of the Treasury. You give the Treasury to to Goldman Sachs? Are you crazy? B- Bolton, John Bolton, Elliot Abrams, the war criminal, right? So on and on and on. Trump is Trump is circling the drain, ready to go down. And if you don't agree me, agree with me, fuck you, fuck you, man. <laughs> ah, Marcus Conti reporting. Motherfucker. La, la, la.